to pretend that you're talking to your dog. I bet Tim's got a great baby boy. Well, yes, I do. Out. Of course, yeah. <laughs> Big Tim. It's always, it's always strong, Tim. <laughs> <laughs> Talk like babies to the internet. So uh, we are here to play some Babies and Broadswords, uh, which is going to be the first time for literally all of us. Woo! But I feel like I'm pretty familiar with it now, um, having listened to the awesome live stream by our friends from Potions and Potpourri, as well as Cantrips and Coffee. They really broke it down. So first thing we're going to go over is character creation, because it is extremely simple. Um, I know Hades and uh, Brosidon or no, not Hades, sorry, Zeus and Brosidon already kind of have their character sheets up and going somewhat. I think mine's so, up and going. Yep. So the big thing is in your big three, so that's your adventurousness, your cuteness, and precociousness, you get a five, a three, and a two, and you get to put it like however you want in those three stats. So if you have not done that, go ahead and do that, please. So clarification, we, we can put it as, so it has to be like, it's, we get a five, a three, and a two, not like we have to add, divide those out. Right, right. What do each one of them mean? So, great question. Adventurousness, um, like basically what they did is they broke up the six stats, like strength, dex, all that kind of stuff, from regular D&D into three. So your adventurousness, um, it's your sense of adventure and uh, goes a long way into helping you to get into places you shouldn't be. Um, so it's more of like your physical stuff and babies who have a five in adventurousness can ask the sitter, which is me, I should clarify. Um, I am not your dungeon daddy today. I am your dungeon sitter. <laughs> yeah. Um, I could change my name, but that's a lot of effort. I'll maybe do it later. Um, so yeah, babies who have a five in adventurousness can ask the sitter for advice on the best way to handle physical challenges. Um, cuteness is a little bit more like charisma, basically. Um, so it says babies who have a five in cuteness feel comfortable asking the adults uh, for information. And then precociousness would be like your intelligence. like Precociousness kind of or preciousness? Precociousness. Precocious. I read that as preciousness. <laughs> Similar. I read it as preconsciousness. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't. Yeah. I was looking at it on a phone and I said preciousness. I was like, well. I wrote it down as preciousness first Did and you? had to rewrite I it. Totally missed that. <laughs> oh, that was the scribbled out, wasn't it? Precociousness it is a big word for a baby, okay? <laughs> well, if you have a five in precociousness, you can read sort of. <laughs> uh -huh. So, so some like, of us have a five. Of course, this is a big word for Elmo. <laughs> okay, so has everybody got their big three? Yes. Yes, yes. probably all in the wrong spots, but yes. Perfect. Um, so the next thing would be the misfortunes. Those would be your ouchies, your grumps, and your tummy aches, which instead of HP, that's kind of how they break it up for this. Um, so you'll roll a 1d6 for each of those. So for ouchies, you'll add that roll. And I'll let you roll each time. You don't have to like take the same number for all three. Um, so like if you roll, say a four for your ouchies, then you add your adventurousness. And that's how you get your total for that. And basically what that is, is you start at zero ouchies, zero grumps, zero tummy aches. And when you reach your max, you have to go to timeout or to nap time, or take a potty break, depending on which one you max out. Which means you have to take off your headphones if you're wearing headphones, uh, step away from the stream for five minutes. Oh my god. Okay, yeah. so just for clarification. That's pretty I rolled, cool. I like it. I rolled a three, and I have a five in adventurousness, so my ouchies is an eight. Correct. And then grumps is your, it's 1d6 plus your cuteness. Tummy aches is 1d6 plus precociousness. Perfect. Thanks. So those all equal. I have to add those up now. Okay. I got you. Let me bring up my dice again. 
Hi, Artemis. I don't have a way to check chat easily, or at least not to respond to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and let everybody start out. Uh, I'm gonna say with three cookies. Uh, cookies are how you basically get like power-ups, things like that. Um, some class abilities and all max will require the use of cookies to activate. And then I'll let you each have one gold star. What that is, is it would let you um, use it. So like if you use that gold star, you get to add an additional 1d6 to any roll, but it's a one-time thing. You guys ready for the skill challenges? How many cookies did you, I'm sorry, I'm a little bit behind. I was, how many cookies did you say we had? Uh, we'll start with three. And no and gold, no stars. Oh, uh, one star. One gold star, thank you. Yeah, you each get a one star review. <laughs> um, so for flavor, because this is the uh, Greek gods as babies, we're going to say instead of cookies, it's actually baklava. Thank you, Bayon. <laughs> Just doing my job, ma'am. Let me know when we're ready to move on. I'm good. Hades and Festus, you ready? Yes. Okay. I was like, Dan, you're you're out of the TV. I couldn't see your hand. <laughs> All right, I'm going back through the chat and I'm getting the picture of the Barbabian page and getting the skills page. That way I have them pulled up. Nice. All right. So for skill challenges, uh, your muscly uses adventurousness. So go ahead and you can add your adventurousness to that one. Uh, nimble, beefy are also going to be adventurousness. So, I mean, mostly while you guys are writing everything down, is obviously going to be like your physical capabilities. Nimble would be a little bit more like uh, acrobatics. It's your balance or athleticism. And then beefy is based on like your size and toughness. Next Maybe three. Use our adventure score for all three of those. Yep. And Next we don't, three. Do we add anything to them? I'm sorry. Um. So yeah, if your class abilities, because I know some of you had. Uh, okay. Um, depending on what class you are, you had pluses. I think it's a plus two for class abilities on everything. So like our, uh, what is it, our perks? Uh, maybe. Yeah, the perk is what gives me brainy plus two. Gotcha. Um, so real quick, we'll, because I'll get out of focus here. Um, so brainy, guile, and crafty will all be precociousness. And uh, Brainy, you know, obviously that's more like your intelligence could be like history, that kind of thing. Um, Guile would be ability to know when they're being tricked or to trick others. And Crafty um, would be, uh, so that one it says like the knowledge of the ins and outs. Um, so like for the setting originally, it's based in, um, oh, what did they call it? Lady Chastity's... It has a really great and horrible name. Hold on. Oh, yeah. So the original setting is Lady Chastity's Home for Unwanted Children and Other Heirs of Judgment, which is not where we'll be today. But um, so it says like crafty would be knowledge of the ins and outs of Lady Chastity's and the people who live there. But since we're not there, it will be like our setting. Um, the final three would be adorable, cool, and nosy, which are all based on cuteness. 
And so the only one that I think doesn't explain itself necessarily would be cool, which is your ability to avoid trouble through stealth, chicanery, or toddler aloofness. All right, so I'm going to start with Hephaestus since the Barbabian is the first class in here. Um, so if you haven't already, you get a permanent plus one to any adventurousness skill challenge uh, of your choice. So like any of the three that are based on adventurousness, you get to pick uh, which one gets a plus one. And then you start out with a well-loved rolling pin, which allows one damage reroll per combat. And then a tiny helmet with tiny horns. That's adorable. Cool. Yeah, I know, right? Uh, do you have any questions about your abilities? Um, no, I actually picked this class because I played bar Barbarian a lot, so I assumed it was right. pretty similar to that idea. I mean, uh, I'm guessing, of... I'm guessing that like Greg is like going into a rage. Uh, Prenap tantrum seems to me that it would be kind of like also just going into a rage. No, they're, no, they're, they're also seems like just a, going into a rage. Yeah, so. they're basically a form of rage. Yeah. <laughs> so I mean, uh, to use Greg, you have to take one algae. Um, to use no, no, no. You take two tummy aches, and then to take a prenap tantrum, you use two cookies. Did you just say prenup tantrum or prenap tantrum? <laughs> so I heard prenup, and I'm just like, what kind of baby are we talking about here, my guy? <laughs> you know, nap. Uh, no, other than that, I'm good. As far as is I'm anybody good. on the stream in the chat to uh, respond to Jason? Yeah, I can be. Awesome. Hey, Rip, what was the, uh, if you have a five in, in cuteness, what does that do? You could do what now with the sitter? That's a great question. Let me back up and check because I don't remember now. Yeah, because I changed it around. I'm a five in cuteness now. You monster. <laughs> Wait, uh, which chat are we in? Do you mean to be in Twitch? Yeah, yeah. Okay, sorry. I was in this Discord. Give me a second. <laughs> um, I don't freaking know all the all these things, man. Too much technology. Uh, so cuteness, if you have a five, you feel comfortable asking the adults in the orphanage. Uh, so, you know, we're not in the orphanage for this one, but you feel comfortable asking the adults for information. All right. Um, Zeus, what were you playing? Thor Thorer. Thor Thorer. Okay. Um, Hades, you were a warwalk, right? Yeah, I'm a warwalk. Okay. Um... So Warwalks get their plus one to any precociousness skill of their choice. And you begin the game with an old locket containing pictures of two people who are not your parents uh, mm -hmm. with whom you can communicate. Uh, you can talk to the ghosts residing in a locket once per day, asking them one question. Okay. And you have a single red balloon that never pops. Okay. <laughs> in addition to, you know, you have Cerberus and your Biden. Dan, did you respond in the, the Twitch chat? Trying to log into the Twitch chat. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> We're so good. Uh, do you have any questions about any of your abilities? Uh, I do not think so. I will review them, though, after I'm done putting this information in. Okay. And then we have our Thorthorer. You get your permanent plus one to any precociousness skill as well. Precocious. And, and you begin the game with a heavy whacking book and a jar of petroleum jelly for your perpetually chapped lips. That is incredibly appropriate. So if I have a five, does that make it a six? Or is that just an, I don't know. No, so Help. it would be to any of the precociousness skills. Skills. 
Okay. Yeah, not to the big three, to like one of the skills that uses precocious. Methods. Okay. I see. <laughs> uh, so Jason says, no pressure, but I wrote the game and we'll be judging accordingly in Twitch chat. Just FYI. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah. Well, I'm not the All babysitter, right. so. <laughs> all i gotta all do right. is cry how hard could that be right <laughs> yeah exactly are you also a cry baby to me yeah. uh oh, we'll, we'll get to that in just a second we'll, no let's i'm a drooler this. let's get over this go over the sneaky pants real quick so sneaky pants you get a permanent plus one to any cuteness skill challenge and you begin the game with a pillowcase loot bag which allows you to carry one more item and a pokey fork. Yes, that's gonna be my trident, and my and my loot bag is actually gonna be my my seaweed blankie. I like it. That's kind of funny because Hades has a pokey spork. For now, that's all I take it. It's a broken pokey spork, so can't have it. <laughs> All right, Tim, do you have any questions about the sneaky pants? Uh, no, I read through it. I, I think I'm pretty good. Cool. 